We tend to believe that most drug lords, kingpins, are men. We see it in shows, we see it in movies, Scarface, Goodfellas. It's far from the truth. There's been a lot of women that has been in the game and moved a lot of weight. And they have a little bit of ice on the heart. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up? My name's JC and I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss nothing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a message. You know, make sure you don't miss my shenanigans. If you are part of my crew, mi raza, mi familia, mi pandilla, you already know. Subanse la suburba. Let's get this show on the road. Hey, like I said in the past, man, it doesn't matter whether you're a male or female. We tend to believe that most drug dealers or drug kingpins or gang leaders are men, but there's been a lot of history, a lot of women running shit, taking care of business, and a little bit of cold-hearted to murder and do stuff. So, yes. On Wednesday, October 28th, 2020, in South Africa, the drug queen pin Simone Moni Jasmine was shot to death at the age of 35. Rest in peace, Jasmine. Jasmine was a notorious drug lord and gang leader in Wentworth that was known as the cartel, one of the most ruthless drug gangs in town. She was introduced to the game by her boyfriend. And you've guys seen this, you know, in shows like The Queen of the South, being poor, and they get into the game, you know what I mean? And, and, and she was actually nicknamed the Queen of the South back then. She was introduced to the game by her boyfriend and after his death, she got involved in the game. Hey, what do you have to lose when you're poor like that, right? You get into the game, you see a little bit of money, you want more. But comes at a cost and a price because you have to make some really tough calls sometimes. This is why I tell people that I share my stories not to glorify the life, not to glorify anybody's else life living like this, is to just show you that there's the other side to the coin. Yes, it's nice, you know, driving a nice car, wearing chinchilla, diamond earrings, all that stuff, being in rap videos, but it comes at a cost, and remember that. When someone is killed, there's both parties that are grieving, not just you. There's a par party that is grieving the death, there's a party that is grieving you going away to prison for life. You end up in two places in this game, either dead, or in prison for life. So this is why I share this. Not to glorify nothing, because I get a lot of messages about why do I glorify this, why do I talk about it? I talk about it because it cost me 17 years of my life, and I'm trying to get the right people in the right mindset to get out of that life. It's not worth it. We've had a lot of deaths, a lot of time lost. Hey, it's time to wake up. She started dating drug, drug dealers. She started dating drug dealers after her first boyfriend was murdered, and guess what? All three of those boyfriends were also murdered in the gang wars that are happening over there. The top gangs over there, the destroyers, the drain rats, the Hollywood gang, and the G section. They said that one of these gangs put the hit on her. They got some pretty cool names over there, I must say. But they waited for her when she came out of her house and jumped in a taxi and they followed her. They shot her six times inside the taxi. The taxi driver tried to take her to the hospital, but she was pronounced dead. Like most, most drug lords and kingpins, she had a big funeral with a stretch Range Rover, white casket, everything. I've said it once and I'll say it again. There's nothing in this world that you're gonna be able to take with you when you pass away. And this life leads to two, two, 
places, prison or death. I've known a lot of women in the game from Apasingan to Chicago to Michigan to Florida that are ruthless, that I myself was afraid. Later on, you know, in, in one of my videos, I'll tell a story about how I got involved with a woman similar to this in Chicago and she put a hit on me and I almost got killed at the Shell gas station on Roosevelt and Western. If I wouldn't have seen it coming, I would have been dead that day. But that's another story, another video, another episode. What I'm trying to say guys, it doesn't matter where you're female or male. If you get in the game, at the end of the day, you're gonna end up in prison or you're gonna end up dead. It doesn't matter how much money or how much power you have or how big your gang is. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, someone is always after you, wanting to kill you, wanting to catch you slipping. And I hate to say it, you can't always be on your P's and Q's. Sometimes you let your guard down and as soon as that happens, that's what happens. You know, I, I noticed that I wouldn't have survived in Chicago no more after I had been in Arizona for a couple of years. When I was in Chicago, I used to always drive around, always checking all three of my mirrors, back, side, side, always, all the time, a routine. I would be at the light, checking the mirrors, checking the mirrors, checking the mirrors, checking the mirrors, and I never let nobody sneak up on me. A lot of people in Chicago get murdered like that at the lights, intersections, stop signs. You know what I'm saying. If you're from over there, you understand. And I came to Arizona and I had been in Arizona for a couple years. I said about three years. Well, I lost my P's and Q's. I pulled into a gas station on the north side to get gas. And as soon as I was pumping gas, some dudes ran up on me with a pistol in their hand and asked me what I was. Lucky for me, I had a hoodie on that covered up my crown and I pulled out my driver's license from Arizona and I just told the dude I wasn't from here. I was just getting gas. I had just flown in. The dude believed me and walked away. But when I got in the car, I realized that I wasn't tuned with the city no more. It wasn't, I wasn't ready no more. I would've got killed that night if I wouldn't have had that hoodie or if I wouldn't even like, just me pulling into that gas station wasn't a good idea. And that's what happens. You can't always be on your P's and Q's. There's just no, there's no way. It gets, you, you get caught slipping one way or another sometime or another. My name's JC. I am Wrong and Strong. Stay your ass out of jail, man. Don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Live savage. And remember, the funeral home is full of tough guys. It ain't worth it, man. Not all the money in the world, not all the power, nothing. It's not worth it. Don't spend your life in prison. Don't spend your life grieving. Stay your ass out of jail. Make your family proud. Make yourself proud. Be a real man. Go to work. Take care of your family. This is JC. I am Wrong Strong. I'll catch you guys.